Hi, I'm Jenny. Welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for spending some time with me today. I have been watching uh, videos on, you know, where people put blobs of paint and then turn that into doodles and things like that. And I've been thinking about spring flowers. Um, the wildflowers here have been spectacular this year because we had so much rain uh, early, early on, January, February, March. Uh, and we usually get some wildflowers here in the Valley of the Sun, but not not like this year. This year we have had tons of oranges and yellows and, and some reds and purples too, but mostly oranges and yellows. Uh, and so I would, I would like to maybe spend some time today making some splotchy flowers that I can tear up and put into uh, a junk journal layout. Um, so I'm gonna do that today. I have some different papers. These, This is some uh, coffee dyed graph paper. There's a couple pieces of a textbook. Um, these are, this is German text from um, like a craft book. This is from a book on, I think it's on fairies. <laughs> uh, but I love the, the handwriting look to the, to the text. Uh, and then these are dictionary pages. These might be a little thin for watercolor, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try it and see. So I have a stack of those papers, and then I have some metallic watercolors. These don't have a name or anything on them. I I got this for like five dollars at Ross, and they're all kind of a pearl essence sort of look. And I'm looking at these kind of yellow and yellowy greens, and maybe a little bit of orange and this pearl. Um, and then I also have this, which is uh, metallic accents. So semi watercolors, uh, but they are definitely a watercolor. They're they're pretty pretty transparent. Uh, this came from Paper Source, but I have seen these other places. It's Art Philosophy is the name of it, uh, and you can see this one's kind of messy. I've used a lot of it, but I'm looking at this yellow, and maybe the gold a little bit here, uh, and maybe some of the green. Uh, this one maybe this blue green kind of aqua. I'm just looking for real really pale kind of spring, spring colors And I'm gonna start by just kind of putting splotches of the paint on and letting it dry then I'm gonna go in um, with Either I'm not sure if I'm gonna use paint pens markers uh, Maybe fine liners. I might use some of each and try different things and see how they look in, in different ways uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of go back then and draw some flowers over the top of them. So the brush I have is is a pretty pretty fat round brush. It's it's not. It's just a cheapy little brush. Um, never know which way it goes. Is it a six or is it a nine? Either way, I just I just want to swatch some color on so I didn't pick a brush that was a particular uh, shape or kind of brush or anything because I'm not. I'm not painting anything um, like painting in I'm just kind of painting color and so I'm gonna start with some of this yellow kind of just this pearly yellow I thought if I just laid down you know some splotches of color then I could go back uh, and you know and I don't care if it runs together I could go back and draw some flowers on it um, you know and I'm just gonna kind of Put some splotches on there. You can kind of see there. There's a lot of there's a lot of water in that. Um, maybe I'll add just a little bit of dark green in there too. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some splotchy splotchy things and see see what we get. You know, I'm I'm just kind of feeling like playing with with paint today. That one's a kind of a pretty yellowy green. No, oh, that's not really showing up on this very much, is it? So that could be the problem too. This paper's darker, so um, let me add some of this darker green to it here. I mean, if I just end up with colored paper, I guess that's okay. I don't, I don't really know what I'm gonna end up with here, but that's not very dark, so. Just gonna kind of let it run together. I just want some splotches of paint so that when I draw over it, there's some color under it, maybe mixed colors. 
Oh, that's kind of pretty. So that's kind of what I'm going for is just a mixture of yellows, greens, um, you know, something that's just going to give me a splotchy color so that when I mark over it, it's not just plain underneath. I don't, I don't feel like I have to go back and color it because it already has color. So that's, that's all I'm going to do here is just throw paint down. So once I'm done with this, we will be back to draw a little bit on it. You, you get the idea. I don't, I don't think you need to watch me do you know, a bazillion colors of paint here. <laughs> but uh, I will be back to show you, show you what we have when it's, when it's dry. Okay, I'm back. I have just splotched some paint around. I just kind of squished some paint around um, on the papers and let them dry. I helped them along a little bit with my heat gun. Uh, and I turned them over and ironed them because they were a little wrinkly to draw on. Some of them are still a little bubbly, uh, but that's okay. I mean, we'll be able to draw, it'll be fine. I also brought uh, some fine liners. I, I have a, a set of fine liners, Artist Loft. These came from Michael's. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for them. I had a coupon, uh, you know, and, and a rewards thing. So uh, not very much, I don't think, but I really like these because I like that they come in lots of colors um, and I like that they're fine liners. Then I also have an acrylic marker set uh, from Artex. And these are fun. They're really great markers, actually. Uh, and so I have the color swatches here. I, I think I'll probably just be drawing uh, maybe in black. I mean, I might draw in, a, in another color, like maybe the melon on top. Might be fun to draw on that. Um, these are fun because they're dual tipped. So like if we wanted to do the A3 melon, there's the large brush tip for coloring, but then there's the fine tip for drawing. So maybe maybe we'll try that to start with. So let's just pick one of these. And I'm thinking I might just try, this is kind of a melanie in the center. That's not really gonna show up. Not much. Yeah, that's not really showing up. I thought maybe it would because, and I thought maybe it'd just be tone on tone, um, but it's too close. The tone is too close. So I think if we want tone on tone, we're gonna have to pick another color. Um, I'm thinking maybe the carrot orange in A21. Let's try that one just so it's a little, a little brighter. Okay. Oh, there we go. I'm just gonna just gonna draw some kind of really loose, you know, flowers out to fill some of the space. This yellow is is pretty large on here. Maybe one more go around. That looks pretty good. Might give it a little, a little darker here in the middle. Kind of just coming out so where the base of the leaves there, they leaves, <laughs> base of the petals have a little, a little coming out. I don't want to cover up too much of the paint because the idea was to have the paint showing. So. I just want, these are just simple. This is not meant to be, you know, high art or anything like that. Just, just something simple that I can cut out and add a touch of whimsy to a page, maybe. Just want to be able to cut it out and, you know, use them. Just a little, just a little touch of whimsy. We'll go over just a little bit more, make it just a little darker. These markers are nice and smooth on this. 
even though I've painted it. So that's that's a plus. I don't know if the fine liners will be as smooth, but we'll try those in a minute and see. It's okay if they're not quite like I'm going around it and it's not it's not quite even, kind of gives it the idea that there's a little more movement to it there. I think I like that. A little, little messier is okay. All right, so maybe now let's pick a green because I've kind of got some green down here. We could do a leaf. Um, this orange, what do we think? With the carrot orange. Is the verdant too bright? Should we go with the meadow? I mean, that's closer in tonal value. That's closer in value. Maybe we want the meadow green, though. Let's try that one. I think that's 49's a little light. 50. Okay, let's try. Let's try the meadow green down here. Maybe for a leaf. Another one. So I like that. Make it a little heavier maybe on the outline here. Again, I don't want it to be too perfect. I kind of like the idea of it just looking very sketchy. Well, that's kind of cute. Yeah, I like the idea of that. And, yeah, and if we kind of tore around it. So it's not too perfect. Looks like it's something kind of just, yeah. Or the edge off. Oh well, it's okay. I think that's cute. I think that would be cute on a layout because I like the shiny. I mean, we could cut it. Let's see. Let's get a pair of scissors and see if it looks better. I mean, we've torn it out. We see how that looks. Let's let's cut it and see if it looks better cut out. Might. I mean, it's going to look smoother for sure. But, you know, I'm not opposed to having a, a torn edge here and there. I like torn edges. Let's see what we like better. Oh, I think that's pretty. I think it's actually maybe prettier cut out because it kind of lends itself to this and this kind of, well, it's got, it's kind of got that metallic -y yellow with the metallic -y green. Well, I like that. That's pretty. That'll be pretty on a, on a layout. So maybe let's do something else here. Okay. So shall we try the fine liners? Let's try those. Let's try black just to see just to see how black looks. I mean, it'll just be much more graphic looking. Um, this one kind of looks like it already has a stem going up this way, doesn't it? Kind of just following here with the, kind of looks that way to me. Maybe this is, you know, like Queen Anne's lace kind of that goes up. And we might want little circles on the ends. Okay. 
bring this more down here. Put them circles down in here. I'm in favor of doodling for sure, right? <laughs> you guys know this about me though. This is no secret that I am a doodler. Okay, let's see how that would look cut out. I think this one, we'll just have to leave a little bit of an edge out around it. Right, since we have, I'm just kind of working with the splotches here. <laughs> just to see what I get. Might be fun to make a whole little field of flowers or you could make an arrangement, like you could make stuff with a stem and then uh, cut out It'd be fun to make like flowers, like a bunch of flowers like this on stems and then cut out a vase of uh, out of like printed paper and then, you know, put them down in the vase or use one of those jar stickers uh, and put them, you know, put them in the vase. Might be cute. This, I think will just kind of come up around. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I think that's cute. That'd be cute in the background somewhere. Be cute with a bug on it or something. Or if you had butterflies, you could stick this down and you know give the butterfly something to, to stand on in on a page. That would be cute. Okay, let's do maybe one more here uh, and see see how that goes. Let's see. Do we like do we like the markers or the fine liners? Black versus the colors. I kind of like the colors. I wonder if that fine liner is going to show up in the yellowy here. Let's off the side. And that's barely showing up. So. Okay, well, let's try the fine liner and something similar to what I did with the, the marker here. We'll make that same flower in the fine liner using black and see how it looks versus the other one. All right, then we can kind of compare apples to apples because it'll be the same kind of flower. Or you can make a daisy looking kind of, that would be cute, some kind of daisy looking flower. All right, this is one of my favorite ones to doodle because it's just easy. And it looks nice. It's kind of rose looking, but it could be lots of other things too. All right, um, this is not like this has to be a realistic sort of sort of flower. <laughs> this is just a doodle. Okay, that's pretty. And then let's try. So should we do the? We should probably do that in, in black as well, right? Same way we did the other one. We'll do the same kind of thing. Okay, so let's cut that out and we'll kind of compare them. You can see it's gonna have a, a pretty different look to it, even though it's basically the same flower, but using the plain black fine liner as opposed to the colors of the marker. The fine liner is not quite as bright. And the black has a very different feel to it. So, you know, it just kind of depends on what you're after. So 
that's a pretty different look. So you can see it's the same basic flower, but it's a pretty different look. So I like it. So I'm, I'm having fun with these. So I, I hope you will give this a try and maybe just, you know, slop some paint on a book page and, and do a little doodling on top of it and see what you get. I think you could doodle all kinds of things. Um, so until next time, remember, use what you have to make your life more beautiful. Bye.